a big street party celebration. Well, it's coming out and showing that we're here, we're present, and that we have a voice and we're colorful. It's really fun, it's hot, but it's really fun to see all these faces come out today. And every parade isn't complete without some sugary treats for the kids. But the sweet part for people here, an equal rights milestone this week. The Defense of Marriage Act was ruled unconstitutional. It just makes it even more of a festival for who we are and who we're proud to be. With the DOMA ruling being huge for equal rights this week nationally, folks in this parade say this could help a big push for equal rights here in New Mexico. Just this week, a Santa Fe same-sex couple filed a lawsuit in the New Mexico Supreme Court to order the county clerk to give them a marriage license. It's good for people to see how many other people are supportive of it, whether or not you're gay or straight or whatever. I think it's definitely important. Important, parade goers say, to make sure local same-sex couples eventually get to go to the chapel and get married. They're the last line of defense for firefighters working near the flames. Absolute last resort safety device that all wildland firefighters carry well on a wildland fire. Jeremiah Hansen is the fire management officer for the Albuquerque Fire Department. He says the shelters are made of multiple layers of aluminum foil and silicone and can hold up under intense conditions. Staying intact in heat up to 500 degrees. Crews say this shelter can protect someone from about 95% of the radiant heat coming off of the flames. It is still a very uh, untenable and unimaginable um, atmosphere that you are inside of there, but it gives you that possibility of survival. Today, fire crews demonstrated just how hot it can get inside those shelters. In hours, the temperature reached 180 degrees in just a few minutes. It would be a very hard thing for someone to stay in that shelter, but it's their only chance for survival. Hansen says it's pretty rare for crews to have to use their shelters, but when you're dealing with fire and mother nature, it's hard to predict what the flames will do.